Gemini. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am here to do your weekly love and general reading for the week of May 22nd to the 28th, 2017. And happy birthday, those of you that are celebrating birthdays the first week in May. I hope you guys have such a happy, happy birthday. So, I missed you guys while I was away. I really did. We froze our asses off in Massachusetts. It was so cold. But we did that whale watching tour. It was beautiful. Wow, you guys look like an amazing week. Yeah, so I'm changing it up a little bit this week. So these cards, I've missed them. Um, these are Magical Times Empowerment Cards by Jody Berksma. So we're going to use this as like the overall energy for the week. And we have kindness, love with compassion, open your heart to all life form. Be an angel with hands. Let me just say, those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. And thank you guys for taking the time to subscribe. And those of you that are not subscribed, please subscribe so I could see all of your comments. Thank you. I would really appreciate it. Because I really can't, can't, I can't even respond if you're not subscribed. And I do like to see all of your comments. And those of you that would like a private reading with me, my contact info is always below all of the videos. So this week, for kindness, you know, you're going to, you're going to do the right thing. You know, even if no one else is watching, you know, you're going to remember that, you know, everybody is, everyone is fighting some kind of battle in life. So, you know, you're going to try to show compassion this week and vice versa. You will receive it. There's, you know, the week is filled with opportunities to be kind. You know, today, tomorrow, right now. You know, be the one that, you know, lifts people higher this week. Because it's going to do you justice. Using Doreen Virtue and Bradley Valentine's Angel Tarot. We have the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords, you know, is, you know, moving away. You know, moving forward. You know, moving from tur turbulent times, you know, to much more calmer, peaceful times. Moving, you know, past those past challenges. And sixes do represent harmony and balance. You know, mentally, you know, preparing to move. You know, to something definitely more exciting. Could even be possibly planning a trip. It says at the bottom, things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. Um, but definitely moving forward with the Knight of Cups. Falling in love, wedding proposal, the need to balance emotions and invitation to a social event. So definitely um, an offer. An offer that's emotional. You know, it's an offer, you know, to someone, from someone. You know, this definitely could be romantic. You know, it's an offer that, you know, makes you feel really happy. Fulfilled. You know, you're moving toward that. Um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Sun, Moon, or Rising. Gemini could be very important this week. Um, 
but it's definitely, you know, usually with the Knight of Cups too. <coughs> Guys, I am so sorry. I just, um, I'm going to grab a quick drink. I, um, I, I don't know. It was, it was so cold. Uh, it, it, it rained. Oh my gosh. Ma Massachusetts, Connecticut is beautiful, but the weather was terrible. We picked absolutely the worst week to go. And it's not that I don't feel, I feel fantastic. I really do. But I think I'm, I'm getting some kind of little cold. Maybe a little bit. But, um, okay, so, a proposal. And, you know, with the Two of Cups here, a relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness, the positive resolution of a conflict. So, it's the card of falling in love, you know, connecting on a deeper level with someone, you know, spending a lot of time together. Now, for me, this is definitely a soulmate connection card. Absolutely. You know, it could definitely represent two people starting something new. It could be, it could be even, you know, a family member. It could be a business partnership. You know, but on, but on, on the relationship level, you know, this is, you know, two people growing closer, you know, deepening that bond. Um, but whatever it is, whether it's a business partnership, a family member, I do feel like it's more on the romantic front. And those of you that are coupled, I mean, you guys are just blossoming this week. Just blossoming. And you guys are ready for something new. These are Angel Answer cards, Doreen Virtue. All the cards are by Doreen Virtue, except for your love portion. But you know, with this card... Everything in your past, all your past experiences have led you to this moment. You know, you've, you've grown, you've grown spiritually in many ways. There's nothing more for you to do with this card. You know, you're right under the Six of Swords. You're so ready to move forward. And, and, and you want to charge forward quickly. You're ready to move forward and you're ready to embrace the person you know in your heart you're meant to be with, with this card. It just, you see why I'm saying I'm feeling it on the relationship front because it fits. I mean, you're, I mean, we have your wishes granted, you know, you're feeling empowered, you know, there's positive expectations, messages, um, healing with the fairies, you know, it's pretty much just, you know, to keep, keep the faith, you know, keep your hopes, your dreams, your affirmations, your visualizations, your prayers, you know, that they are, you know, you praying, they are really um, manifesting right now. You know, this card is like, like, don't quit literally five seconds. Five minutes, I'm sorry, not five seconds, right? Five minutes before. I feel like it's five seconds for you guys because, you know, your wish is granted right next to it. So, yeah, five seconds. I'm going with that. You know, before the, before the miracle occurs, you know, don't, I don't, I don't, you know, those of you that are having those slight doubts, you know, and this would be representing 
you know, you being in that, in your mind too much, you know, thinking too much. Just you know, stay out of your mind, stay out of the mind. It's beautiful. You know, go with it, receive it, offer it. You know, also in my readings, guys, no gender, you know, private readings, absolutely. Not in the generals. It, this is, it's beautiful and it's positive. You know, you, those of you, especially that are starting to feel pessimistic and wonder why things aren't moving fast enough. Why, did, why isn't, you know, why, why aren't I getting this communication? You know, why isn't any of this happening? You know what I'm saying? It's coming. It's coming. Because your wish is granted. And Gemini, this card doesn't come out too often. What you've asked for <clears throat> is coming true. And really, you have been granted one very special wish from the universe. You know, one that is very near and dear to you. It's very special to you. I mean, you know, God, the, you know, angels, heaven. It's like, it, it's, it's as good as the star card, really. You know, if your wish is to move forward, you're doing that. And there's so much kindness and love too. The Knight of the Knight of Cups is usually somebody that you know. I find most of the time. You know, it all, you know, if it's not you, it could be you know Gemini, the person that you're involved with. But you don't know if the reading resonates with you or not. The dolphins and the mermaids empowerment. You're more powerful than you realize. It's safe for you to be powerful. So, it just, your your inner power wants to surface. It's like, you know, you want to find the strength, the courage to move forward. It's about, empowerment, it, what it means also, too, that, you know, you're no, you're no longer gonna, or, or willing to see yourself as a victim in any way. You know, it means, you know, letting go of any blame, you know, past conditions, circumstances. You know, just let it go and just know that you can be powerful, gentle, kind. You know, in simultaneous ways, if that makes sense. You know, you could do all of that simultaneously and still be effective. You're just... It is safe for you to be to be powerful, to be happy. You know, if you want to move forward toward this Two of Cups energy, do what makes you happy. Loving words from Jesus. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. John 14, 18. For those of you that would... Oh, like to pick up the Bible and read that verse this week. Beautiful. But it really is, is just loving, spiritually guided energy this week. Okay, love and relationships. I'm going to use, whoa, you guys got the sun. I said this before, really, uh, relationships do blossom. Under the sun card, it's great help, it's happiness, joy, peace. Um, we all the year, Los Orbeto. I use this deck a lot in my uh private readings, totally love it. 
so amazingly accurate too. Um, wow. That's beautiful, Gemini. Happy birthday. I mean, you could be, with the Six of Swords, you know, you absolutely could be planning, you know, a trip, you know, with your loved one, you know, to a very nice, warm, sunny place, you know, beautiful, um, you know, the Sun and the Two of Cups, beautiful soulmate on energy, guys, it's great health. For some of you, it could be a Leo. Sun, moon, or rising. Could be a water sign. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. But really nice. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Romance Angels cards during birth virtue as well. Trust this situation is calling for you to have faith. Faith. And that faith is right in the center of the reading. It's okay to go with the flow on this this week, really. You're ready. You know, stay out of the mind. Don't let people get in your way this week. You know, act kind, but stand firm. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I said that before. It's divinely guided. It is. I, I feel it. It's just definitely divinely guided. Absolutely. Definitely on the right path. And I love this. You're, you're just moving right toward that Two of Cups. Others of you, you know, just emotionally moving forward, but to better, you know, to that that joy, peace, happiness, that fulfillment. That that feeling getting back to that passion again. Really it's whatever you're praying for, you're manifesting, and you're wishing for. Beautiful, Gemini. Absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, again, happy birthday. Beautiful reading. You guys are my first sign. And you get the Two of Cups. You're really beautiful. Your wish is granted. Beautiful. I love it. And the Sun card for relationships. Guys, you can absolutely, singles, can absolutely meet somebody this week for real beautiful have confidence stay positive make that offer luck is on your side this week beautiful and kindness love is all around you love it all right, Gemini, I hope this reading helped you guys out for the week. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video, for your comments. Um, those of you that subscribed with your comments, have a drink on vacation, you guys are amazing. Um, I, I, I don't say it enough. I really do. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. And I, I really do feel like I have some of the best subscribers on YouTube ever. I really do. Um, you guys are amazing. All right, guys. Have a beautiful, blessed week. And I will see you guys back here soon. Take care. Bye-bye.